Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial So in this video we'll be learning to make this text animation with dashes in a very simple way So I'll first click on this new composition I'll name this dashed text animation 1920 by 1080 resolution is fine and I'll click okay So now the first thing is to create some background I'll click layer and from new I'll click on solid I'll name this background and this pale yellow color is fine to me and I'll click OK so now I'll type in some text to do that I'll click on this T button here so that we enable the type tool and I'll type in some random text now we'll be converting this text layer into a shape layer to do that I'll right click on the text layer and from create I'll click on create shapes from text all right once you do that you can see that a shape layer is created and I'll expand this and from add I'll add a property called stroke all right and now I'll expand the stroke here and I'll click on this plus button that we have here for dashes okay we'll have to first remove the black fill of our shape layers here so I'll click on fill here and set this to none and click OK and now in the stroke that we have here I'll change the stroke color to black OK and now I'll increase the stroke width to around 4 so now if I zoom in you can see that we have dashes created as we clicked on this plus button here we have dash and offset I'll increase the amount of dashes to like 20 so that there's a bit gap here and now I'll click on this timer button here for offset at the first frame and I'll go to the last frame and increase the offset value to like you know 50 or 60 so if I start playing the video you can see that this is how the text is animated with dashes so you can increase or decrease the amount of dashes here depending on your requirement but this is how you make it I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram. See you guys next time with another tutorial.